Welcome to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. I'm in Cato, Indiana. Yeah, Cato. The cemetery has a Cato address. When I first moved to Pike County, I heard of the town Cato. It used to be the biggest town in Pike County. Now they're down to like 60 individuals, maybe 20 houses. But I was asking people where the cemetery was because I've heard of a cemetery in Cato. They're like, there isn't one. I'm like, yeah, there is. No, there isn't. So somebody sent me over to Flat Creek Cemetery. That's actually in Winslow. But this cemetery, Willis, W-I-L-L-I-S, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, has a Cato address. And it used to actually have houses beside it, too. If you want to learn more about it, I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Like I said, we're at Willis Cemetery in Cato, Indiana. As you can see, a whole lot of nothing. We're going to go up here and take a closer look at the cemetery. Now, it is, it is well maintained. It's not pristine, but it is maintained. Scraper. It's an unusual name, Scraper. Scraper. Father, mother, ism, 1836 to 1913. Is, is Elizan, 1840, no death date. Down here we got a bunch of old ones. Really can't see no dates on them. Here's one that's broken. Somebody left flowers, which is nice. Shows that these people weren't forgotten. We got James Willis, born 18. 40.1887. That's sad. Sarah Willis, 1838-1893. Nothing on this side. Can't really make nothing out on this. There's something there, but it's just so worn. I can't make out anything. Oh, the daughter of something. Robling, born March 26th to November 13th. Don't see nothing on that. That, now there's an old tree. The stories it could tell. Huh. Austin H. McCormick, 1828, 1903. Once again, some real old ones. Can't make out the writing on them though. On the top of this one it says Leah Top of this one it says I think Ernest This one I think is Leah VC Willis 1869 to 1914 Mary A his wife, 1871, no, no death year. 
Burton. Oh, 1907 and 1909. Burton, I'm guessing daughter of George, Julian, George and Julian Willis, 78 to 1909. John, John S. Burton, 1969, 1924. Some more with the dates worn off. Thomas J. Joanne. Now, I don't ever remember seeing a headstone carved like this. George Willis, 1842, 1918. Company G13. I'm not sure what the reg whatever the REG stands for. Indiana Volunteer, which means he was a volunteer to join the military. He wasn't drafted. Joanna Willis, 1847, 1882. Elizabeth Willis, 1847, 1911. And there's Elizabeth Headstone. John Willis, May 1846 to 1918. Another John Willis one. Uh, 1847, 1918. Dor Dasha, his wife, died in 1927. We got Cleveland and Floyd. Over here we got Willis. I'm assuming their father and mother. Matthew died in 1929 and she died in 1941. Eli Willis, Indiana. Private battery, A-70 artillery, World War I. Over here, Stockinger Alley, died in 1907, 1935. Okay, here we got Polly, Granny, Willis, 1816 to 1916. I think there's like a dozen people that lived to be 100 in Pike County. Vincent, 1805 to 1882. Now, I like how they kept the old headstone, but put one that you could actually identify the years and name. I'm not sure if that's Margaret Willis. Bunch, bunch more little ones. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. It's not a real big cemetery, but it was actually nice to actually find the cemetery that was actually in Cato. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, click that subscribe button. And as always, thank you for watching.